Today I'm going to show my inking process for eyelashes using my Raphael 8404 brush. My name is Jimmy Reyes and I'm a professional comic book inker. Welcome to my channel where I share tips, techniques, and an inside look at my inking process. So an eyelash is simply a lash and it's one of the hairs that grow on the edge of the eyelid. Um, eyelashes are there to protect your eye from debris, you know, dirt, things. It, it acts like whiskers on a cat <clears throat> or a mouse. It's a warning system to, uh, to let you know that uh, insects or dust or things are blowing into the eye and protect your eye. It's kind of like a spidey sense. So some artists will simplify the eyelashes and they don't draw every single individual lash. Um, some artists will draw them as one big uh, chunk of hair and uh, they'll simplify it. And so depending on your artist and the art style, that's going to dictate on how you ink the eyelash um, or even hairs, or even eyebrows and things. Um, so with Andy Kubert and his art style, um, he tends to draw some of the eyelashes in there and he chunks up a lot of them in there. Um, and that saves time because um, you don't really have to put in every little individual detail. But when there's a close up on, on the flash here on his face, um, what I did was uh, I was able to go in and break them up. Using my Raphael 8404 size 2 round uh, watercolor Kalinsky Sable brush, I'm able to go in there and add uh, little hair lines in the eyelashes, leaving a little bit of white space in between breaking that up and that creates the illusion of detail. And it, it shows that the lashes are individual lashes and then when clumped together, they create a darker uh, solid black I, the reason that I chose to ink all the hair on this page with the brush is that it gives me an organic look. Um, I'm able to bounce my line, gives me a softer line than the nib does. With my nib, I'm very comfortable creating angular lines, sharp, clean lines with the nib. Uh, it also separates the, the line work that I created on the figures and within the rendering. It also breaks it up and softens the lines. So you want to keep in mind what um, detail that, that is in an eyelash, um, little things. But at the same time, you, you don't want to go in and create too much detail and over render and worry about all the fine little line work and detail um, because you want to keep in mind the drawing as a whole and not get lost in all the little details um, because uh, you do want to help enhance the line work and add a little bit of detail and, and know when to pull back. Sometimes less is more. And if you enjoy the video, please click a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. That way you're notified of any new updates. And you can follow me on Twitter.